Hi, um, I just wanted to do a quick video and show the concept I have come up with and I'm hoping to employ for my um, diary insert needs for next year. Um, this was mostly inspired by two things. Um, first of all, there's Tracy set up, uh, Tracy at the crazysuburbanmom.com. Um, Tracy it uses week on two pages diary and or dodo pad diary and she then writes out a to-do list each day um, and so she can keep all her appointments in the diary and then to-dos which sort of change on a day-to-day -day basis can just go into a daily to-do list. Um, the other person who influenced this a lot was um, What's her name? Allison Reeves, who comments frequently on Filofaxi, had written that she had found that the best um, diary insert for her needs is actually the week per page plus notes, which in Filofax you have the days of the week down one side with space to write appointments for each of the seven days and a blank facing page that you can write notes on. Um, these two concepts kind of came together for me. Um, I have realized, if we flip around, I don't think there's anything particularly um, personal, but my this is my plan for tomorrow. And the thing is that looking at this, um, every day I basically either have a lot of appointments or a lot of to-dos. And I'm frequently leaving about half of my diary page fairly blank, um, except for sort of sketching out what my work hours are using a highlighter in the margin. Um, so I'm thinking that as much as I really like having all that space, um, the dis it's not really strictly necessary, and the thing about having it, having all of this space is that I can only fit about uh, five or six weeks of diary in at a time at the most. and. I'd really like to have more than that. I mean, I make up for it by giving myself the tabbed month on two pages and putting all of my appointments on those. Um, but I still feel like I'm kind of... Um, I'd really like to just be able to write things down one time. And I also realized that um, the current years... This is the current... This is 2012. This is actually April. I just pulled these pages. Um, I stole them from Wands Filofax so that I could show you guys. Um, what I'm thinking. Um, this is the 2012 with the smaller grid. The next, the 2013, looking at um, uh, Kate of the Perpetual Students video, um, it looks like they've taken, the grid has been stretched out so it goes much closer to the actual margins of the page. So all these boxes are a good substantial size bigger. Um, I can't say exactly how much bigger. I think that um, the folks at DodoPad actually did tell me how much bigger via email at some point, but I'm not. I don't recall um, if they did or not, and I don't. If they did, I don't recall what they said. Um, this still is my favorite planner product on the market. I think they're so much fun. Um, every week is different, and um, they look amazing and the paper quality is quite nice. It's not like that really high-end French paper that's so... Um, this paper is actually fairly absorbent and when you write on it with a fountain pen the ink dries immediately. Um, it does not... it has very... it's very good at resisting bleed through and show through which is great. Um, and I'm thinking that if you look at how I leverage the month on two pages, which works fine. Um, if I go back to September, you can um, maybe August. This is what it looks like when it's really well used. And the page, like the box size, is pretty significantly bigger than these boxes, but I think that when these grow, um, they'll be fairly close, and I can ignore some of these lines. So, just to sort of illustrate this, what I'm kind of, where I'm thinking, I just sort of sketched in, like, what sort of, if I put a work schedule in this column, I've still got this nice spread of space here that I can write my appointments in, and most days I don't have more than three or four, and I think that 
as long as I'm careful about how I write, I should be able to get that in without any trouble. Um, you could also leverage the columns in other ways. You could give yourself like that, perhaps put, use these two boxes for to-dos that you need to do that day and these two boxes to record appointments or what have you. Um, what I'm thinking is, so I'll fill in um, appointments and sort of hard fix things, pay dates, um, vacations, um, stuff like that, important reminders in the diary, and then on the facing page I can, on a week, probably on a week to week basis, sketch out sort of a plan of action for the week. Um, what are my goals for that week? What are my prioritized projects and to-dos for that week? Um, so every day when I'm looking at this, I'm going to be reminded of that stuff. And I think the problem with the day on two pages is it's extremely granular. Um, and my work, um, my sort of responsibilities at work are highly reactive anyway. Um, and it's very easy for me to get really bogged down in the nitty gritty of today's needs and not really keep an eye on keep my eye on my larger goals. So I'm thinking kind of having this page here will be really useful. A lot of things that I end up writing onto a today sh onto a daily sheet and then having to transfer over to the next one and the next one and the next one can all just sit happily on this page um, and I can just tick them off when I actually get them done. Now this will not work for me on a daily basis um, as stands because I tend to take a fairly significant, I tend to write a fair amount of stuff down every day. Um, I've actually lightened up lately, I've just been so busy that I've not, um, my writing has gotten a little bit more cryptic. Um, I had a bit of a crisis recently because there was a to do, yeah, I had written down one FL signs. I still don't know what the hell I was getting at. So, um, but anyway, many days though I actually do I write pretty extensively throughout the day, not every day, but many days. So what I'm thinking is to just simply, if I can get this to, no, I probably can't. Uh, I don't have enough hands. Anyway, the idea will be to insert a page of note paper, write the date at the top, and just write all that stuff that I write that I need to capture every day on here. Now on days that I don't write that much, I can just draw a line and put the next day below it. Um, on days that I actually use a lot of the page, I can just leave it. If um, I can always shove these into my hole punch and flip them the other way so I can actually utilize both sides of the page. Um, and I'm not sure if it's better to put this on this side of the today marker so I see this first or if I should put it this way with the today marker over here so I see my week view and my day and can flip one more to see my appointments. I'm not sure. Um, what I probably, what I bet I'll end up doing is transferring appointments from here onto this page on a daily basis. And then, so I'll have appointments at the top, I'll have to-dos at the bottom, I can flip over to take notes throughout the day. Um, in which case, I probably would have it open like this. So when I grab my today marker, I'll open, I'll see my week to do, my day to do, and my agenda for the day um, in one view. Um, the last thing I'll chat about quickly before I close off for the night, sign off. Um, I ordered a 10 um, Clairefontaine side stapled notebooks. Um, I was buying some other stuff from Goulet Pens the other day, and I just ordered these as well. Um, they are six and three quarters inch high, ruled, and they're 4.25 inches wide. So I'll have to chop, I'll have to take the staples out, and then I think that probably they're a signature. So it's a page like this, and the, they're all brought in and stapled on the crease. Um, so probably when you take the staples out, you've got a piece of paper that's actually um, eight and a half inches wide. So I'll have to chop that in half, chop off half an inch from each one of them, hole punch them, and I'll have that wonderful Clairefontaine paper um, with its nice sort of wide ruling 
available for me to use as my day sheets, um, which is far superior to this stuff that Filofax sells. I don't hate, I, I don't like the colored stuff that much. It's got some kind of a coat. You can't write on it with a fountain pen, not because it bleeds through, but because the ink does not soak in. It's got some kind of a waxy or plasticky coating on it. Um, it's The ruling is really narrow, and um, I think that I'll just do better um, with the wider ruled paper. And Clairefontaine paper is just a joy to write on. So, um, and the other thing that I did in anticipation of this, in my shopping online the other day, was I ordered a new um, Lamy Safari fountain pen with an extra fine nib um, that I can ink up with a nice low maintenance ink that I can just use every day in this because they fit in here and um, I love this multicolored gel pen but it goes through its inserts really fast and um, and I find it's not it's, it's just not as pleasurable to write with as a fountain pen is. Um, you cannot use a fountain pen at all I don't know if you can see like I get a lot of show through even just with a gel pen on this paper. Um, as you can see, over the weekend I hardly use these at all. Um, yeah, stuff gets done. Anyway, um, so that's what I'm sort of thinking. I just want to sort of illustrate it a little bit better. I think that this is going to work for me. I mean, and if I find that it doesn't, if it's really kind of a disaster, um, I can just switch back to this daytimer setup that I know works fine for me. I'm just not crazy. It's not perfect, but it's generally quite good. So anyway, um, that's where we're at and hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.